Good morning, Rabbi Isai. It's um, this is a little bit of a of a of a pop up shear that that I was uh, thinking about today while I was just going about my day. And I feel like it's a important important thought to share with the island. It's not gonna be so funny. It might not be so many jokes. So uh, maybe that will be even better for me for everybody else. I don't have to try as hard to sh to show off how funny I am. Um, it's about Elul. Elul, for me, I was thinking about it not too much. I don't think about anything too much. I get way too distracted with new thoughts every five seconds. But Elul is about a Rosh Hashanah, let's say. It's the beginning of the year. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if it's about, you know, doing a whole bunch of teshuva and... And, and trying to clean the slate and, and get ready for Yom Kippur, you know, where you're sealed in the Book of Life or the Book of Death. I don't know if that's what, what, what really what it's what, what 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 Rosh Hashanah is about or what really Elul is. I know obviously it's it's about um, you know trying to come to some sort of reckoning, but I believe it's about really being comfortable with your relationship with Hashem. You know. Uh, uh, being 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 in the book of life or the book of death, all those things, you know, listen, if you're supposed to die, you're going to die. Um, I don't know if if, 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 if if it's completely sealed anyways, because then what would be the point of every other day after Yom Kippur, right? Because every day you have a new chance. Every day you wake up, you have a chance to do Teshuvah, which again doesn't mean to be mourning. It means to return, to tell Hashem you're back. I'm going to try again. So it's about, to me... Being comfortable with your relationship with Hashem. If you're comfortable with your relationship with Hashem, then you really don't have much to worry about because if you really have that relationship and you feel that closeness and that understanding um, between one another, not that Hashem is a relationship person or that I'm saying Hashem has feelings and things like that, but your relationship with Hashem within yourself, because every 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 neshama you know has a selam alakim, and your relationship with Hashem through others. And through the Tzal Milikim and, and everyone else is is Hashem in the sky? Is Hashem is Hashem left, right, up, down, everywhere? I, Hashem is in everything, in every place, in everybody, and in every thought, in every situation, in every idea. Uh, Hashem is like I was discussing with Ali. Hashem is the law, the law, and we can choose to apply the law however we want. But if we apply the law in, in, incorrectly, that doesn't make the law false or the law wrong. It just means that our interpretation are our application of the law was off so it's that it's that it, it's that awareness and, and interpretation and, and and comfortability with your relationship with the law the law being God Hashem and so how does somebody become comfortable in their relationship with Hashem well what 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 do we see you know Hashem wants from 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 us as Jewish people what is it seems that Hashem really focuses on most in uh, in, in the Torah and in, um, I guess you could say, our Mesorah. But you know, from the the the, the Rishonim and the people who 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 had this relationship, it, it doesn't seem to be so much about you know how much you learned or how much you how much you took upon yourself. It, it's it's how comfortable you were with your relationship with Hashem. It's how much you loved Hashem, how much you love yourself. And that's really what it comes down to. Elul is the beginning of the year. It's our time to, it's like our chance to go, you know, to our best, best friend, you know, Hashem and, 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 and make amends and make, and, 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 and make sure that that relationship is good. If you had a bunch of fights, if you had a bunch of bad days, if you had a bunch of bad months, if you had a bunch of bad weeks, if you did things that you never thought you would do, if you did a you never thought you would commit. Um, it's about making amends, making it right, telling Hashem you're sorry, telling Hashem you don't want to do what you did, you didn't want to do what you did, it killed you that you did what you did. It, it hurts you that you treated this other person that way, it, it hurts you that you treated Hashem and your friend that way, it hurts you that you treated Hashem in your father this way it hurts you that you treated Hashem and your wife that way not that you don't feel bad about what you did to your wife or your friend or or, or your father but 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 that relationship is, is is Hashem the relationship you have with people is a relationship with Hashem 
So it's really about feeling like you are in a place where you've done or where you're ready to try and 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 be in couples therapy, so to speak, with Hashem. I don't necessarily means necessarily think it means that you have to um, be finished, you know, uh, you know, three months worth of 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 of, of, of you know nine to five therapy or 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 rehab or something. It just means that you you want to be in 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 marriage therapy. You 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 understand that you've that there are issues and you want to work on them. And you wanna be you wanna be in therapy with Hashem. You wanna be working on things. You wanna know what you what learn about yourself and how you do things and why you do things and how you can make them better. I think it's a all about introspection and it's all about love it's all about let's try this again let's I'm coming back to you I'm doing teshuva I'm, I'm here again I want to try I'm not going to give up I might mess up five seconds later but right now I mean it N two minutes from now I might slip but I really meant it when I said I wanted to do better I really meant it when I said I'm sorry for not you know taking out the garbage I really meant it when I said I'm 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 sorry for 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 not you know showing up at your simcha that you invited me to or whatever. I'm sorry for 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 all these things. If you, you know, if if there's so many different things. You know, let's say you're someone who gives tzedakah and you feel like you didn't give what you were supposed to. So you do you do something wrong? Well, you wanted to give tzedakah. You you feel like that's what you wanted to do. You think about it. You, you're focused on it. You but you had a bad day or you had a bad week and you didn't. You just felt like you didn't have what to give. It's all about just wanting, you know, not not believing in the really, not believing in Hashem every second of the day, but wanting to believe in Hashem every second of the day. If you can want to believe in Hashem every second of the day, then you're showing that you believe in your relationship and your faith and your struggles, and you understand that Hashem understands your struggles better than anybody else in the world. And he loves you for your struggles. You know, anybody who, 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 who really loves somebody will love them with their struggles, the good and the bad. You know, no one is going to get is, is, is going to get it all at once. You know, it's, it, there's always a balance. So I think Hashem understands that all of us have have nisyonos that not necessarily he gave to us. We have bechira, we have situations we put ourselves in. But Hashem understands that there's going to be good, but there's got to also be a lot of bad. But you have to balance it. If and not to say, oh, so, you know, it, trade it off so you can do a bunch of bad and then do a bunch of good. No, but to hate the bad and to love the good and to hopefully want to be at a place where you love the good so much you can never let go of it and you can never fall into the bad. But there will be bad. There will be time. There will be, every, there will be bad. But Hashem loves the bad. Not that He loves when you sin or when I sin or when we sin, but He loves the fact that there's that balance in us, that there's the same power that can cause us to do incredibly great things. We'll also put us into situations where we'll do incredibly not great things or impulsive things. If we're impulsive people and we do a lot of impulsive mitzvahs, but we also do a lot of impulsive averas, that's something that we're that we're constantly in a in a in a battle to to to, to win. And that's El to me. El to me is working on that relationship, being comfortable with with it all, being is an awareness of your intentions, um, an awareness that Hashem is there, Hashem is caring, Hashem wherever you think He is inside of you, Hashem is you, Hashem is your good and your bad and your great and your and your and your evil. Hashem is everything, and this could be a completely made up thing I just made up. I have no idea, but to me this makes so much sense, and. Elo for me is about working on my relationship, going back to couples therapy with with myself and with Hashem and with the the people I love Hashem through and, and trying again and, and saying I'm ready for this new year to make it great. Make it great again. Make Hashem and me great again. That's the slogan for uh, for my year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was not super 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 funny. I'll, I'll, I'll make like a meme or something to make up for that. But guys, thanks for listening. I would appreciate any comments, even trolls, because I'm very interested to hear what people have to say. Shkayach.